Yeah, so fellas, I'm back. Bobby Moretti, SSP for short for some, Surviving Sports Picks, SSP for short. Listen, so, you know, again, uh, the clothing line, uh, but uh, just real quick, about the bell, man, you know, I'm going to go on Facebook. I'm all set up now. I got the YouTube channel going, but I do want to live stream. So I need those 1,000 uh, subscribers. So live stream is going to be important, man, because being on the road and everything and being in casinos, I want, I want it to be live. I want people to be able to comment. I want to be able to discuss everybody's comments, what they I break it down. I'm going to take time to talk to everybody. You know, is, uh, I'm going to be able to answer or be able to find important information on the spot, on the fly, for somebody that needs something really fast to make their play, to put it in their pick. I'm going to be on top of all that. I know this stuff, guys. My mind works this way. You know what I mean? I ain't the, I ain't a genius, man, but I got a memory like an elephant. I got, and, and sports is my gig. Sports is my thing. And I, 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 could, I, could, I could talk on the fly, quick, boom, bang, bang with everybody, man. I could, I, I could, I, I could go down the litany list of the comments, and I can help guys make some, you know, between me and the person, and and, and make the decision on, on, on yes, we're gonna roll the dice. You should roll the dice, and you know, well, I don't agree with you, already, but I'm gonna roll the dice this way. Okay, good, man. Let's go. I'm gonna keep an eye on that game for you. I'm rooting for you. You know, this is about winning, man. This is about winning for you guys. I want to put extra pin money in your pocket. I've been doing this since April of 19. You guys don't know me behind the scenes. This is the first time I put my face out front. I care about my guys. I care about them winning. I know what guys are playing for the night. It ain't just about me. Yeah, I want to win too. I told you that. And I do win. And I've won some good money in the last two years since since uh, <clears throat> kickoff of, uh, of, of, of 218. I've won some substantial amount of money, man. I don't win every night. I don't win every game. But I win, you know, I back myself up, and I, 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 I lose some nights, I win some nights, I, I win a little bit each night, uh, you know, a little bit of pin money one night, and, and overall, I told you, I don't pay my bookie much on Tuesdays, I get paid on Tuesdays, and, and, uh, and I pay him on Tuesdays, I'm playing with his money, bro, and I, and I told you, I, 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 I go back a long way with sports, I played, I played at a high level. I had a chance to play in the NFL. I had a chance to play in Major League Baseball. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys the whole story, no, no holes barred, and, 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 why, and why the good Lord didn't want it. And, and that's a story for another day. But, I mean, I, I go back in a big major city of New York City with sports. It's, it's a gift that I have. And I'm telling you, there's guys out there that are doing some decent work and and you know they they do a lot of decoding and and, and they got they got uh, some interesting uh, ideas and, and did, uh, interesting work done uh, that they've come up with, with 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 games and picks. But I'm telling you, man, it's more than numbers. It's 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 more than numbers. Numbers are important, but there's more than the numbers to to sports gambling. And I'm telling you, man, I really want to take the time, and I will in the future, to give you a, a real idea of my gift. I tried to explain it a little bit the other day. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just a natural thing that comes to me. Um, this is not me trying to be a salesman. It, 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 I wouldn't be doing this if it was if it was if it was about BSing people and and bullshitting for a nickel. This is not about that. I play my own games every day, bro. I, I don't need to do this, really. I like to do this. I love to do this. I love to cap games. I love to see other guys win. That's what I'm in this to do, is to is to pick games at a 60-plus to a 65%-plus uh, um, uh, percentage every, every, on the daily, every day. I read you my... I read you my... Uh, my uh, my percentages the other day. I think they're right here. I, 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 I uh, excuse me for a second. Yeah, they're right here, man. I mean, this is this is this is my body of work, man. You know, it's 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 it's. Uh, I don't think I have it right here. Um, no, I don't have it right here. But anyway, I'll go over that in the next video then if I have to. I'll find it. But you know, it, you know, my locks picks and my max picks and. 
and the leagues that we were playing, I was all over. I was all over 60%. I think I was on the cusp or a little under with hockey. I told you I didn't quit. I battled. I got up to over 25%. Hockey was tricky. I think hockey's where they make their money. I love hockey. I um, I battled. I was before it went black. I was making a run, but I had the league down, man. I told you I had it down, and I even got fooled a little bit with games that I thought were locks and this and that. It comes with the territory. I I um uh. I lost a couple games, but kept battling, and, and and so I was around 60%. I was 25 games over. We could, we could figure that out, what that exactly was. But other than that, I was over 60% in every every league that I played. Hundreds of games over 500, max picks, locks picks, my MLB record, uh, you know, championships that I won, uh, uh, Tiger Woods, St. Louis, Blues, NHL, uh, LSU national championship, Alabama. Uh, Clemson beating Ohio State, uh, uh, LSU beating uh, with Clemson. I rolled right through all those. Um, uh, War Will in the uh, Preakness. I had the Nationals after the Dodgers got bumped. I had I had the Chiefs at 110, minus 110, right after the uh, AFC Championship game. So uh, I put my play in right away. I didn't have to F around and, and waste my time. It was Andy Reid's time. It was it was his year. It was it was it, we knew his son had died. We knew he had lost some big games. I saw that interview with uh, Jim Nance a, after the AFC Championship game, and I told Storm, I said, "It's it. You pencil it in, bro." And he went on to you know with the work that he does and as aggressive as he is, and other guys did. But I told I was the guy that told you. I I told you it's Kansas City, bro, and it was. So you know, and then I I took uh I took um. I took Kansas City. I mean, I took the after the Dodgers got bumped. After the Dodgers got bumped, guys, and uh, and uh, uh, I ran the Nationals. I told you it was going to be Houston, and it was going to be the Nationals. And uh, you know, um, I told you it was 14, 15, 17, and five from that point on, and the Nationals won. But I had won money all year on the Nationals. I was I had my eye on the Nationals. I, I was keeping an eye on them. I won a lot of money on the Nationals all year. I just thought it was Kershaw's year. I thought it was the Saints' year. We had fun on that Discord. We were laughing. We had we had uh, guys dissecting that left and right. You know, with the miracle pass two years prior, with the with this with the the fix with the with the uh, with the with the tackle there with the, uh, with the Saints against the Vikings, and then at the call with the Rams. The following year, I thought it was Breezy's year, man. I, to me, it was a no-brainer. I had done some deep research on that. I saw a lot of coding with the Saints. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, Kansas City won. Mahomes, it was Andy Reid. And, uh, you know, I, I kept my eye on Kansas City. I didn't think they were really going to win the Super Bowl. But, you know, Mahomes, his old man, played for the Mets. He played in Major League Baseball. Andy Reid, he's been around a long time. He's in the men's club. And uh, it was it was it was their year. So you know, but I picked the Chiefs two weeks prior, and and we won, and I won the Super Bowl. So I personally, I won the Super Bowl. I won the NHL. I won the Nationals after the Dodgers got bumped. And uh, I mean, I told you guys, you know, guys could say that nobody had Toronto. Nobody had Toronto like I had Toronto, man. Listen, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. When other guys are doing great work and. And, and, and know what they're talking about. I'm the first guy to step up and, and and say, hey, listen, you know, take a look at this guy. Take a peek at this dude, man. This guy ain't bad. He knows his shit. But I don't I don't see too many, man. I see a lot of BS bullshit artists out there that, uh, you know, uh, talk about all kinds of crazy shit. I, I'm, a, I'm a small street capper that just has a pad to pencil, but... I keep my eye on these leagues, man. I know how these ebb and flow of these leagues are rolling day in and day out. This is what I do. I, I look over the games late at night after the final bell rings and and the games are over for the night. I'm right on the schedule for the next night. I, I, I pay attention. Uh, in the morning, I get up. I've reviewed it. I, I, I got some thoughts in my mind, and I, I see what's laid out in the morning. And I'm dissecting these leagues. I know how they're flowing. I know how to, I know how divisions are going. I know I know I know who's pitching. I know who, who's lost a couple games. I know who's uh, got a couple no decisions. I know who's due for a win. These leagues need these guys. I gave you the example of Granky 
losing two, two no decisions out in Arizona playing playing Colorado. I mean, it's a no-brainer. He's got to win. They, they, they got to. He's got to win for the market. They're paying him big dough, and and, and he's got to win. They got to keep the fannies in the seats. I mean, I know all this stuff, guys. This is what I'm talking about, and that's why the live stream is so important because I will not miss one comment. We will take it one at a time. I will be organized like I am on my tears every day on the Patreon. Didn't miss one day. Shouting out to Tron again. He said Moretti didn't miss one day. April. End of April, I started at 219. Didn't miss one day. Okay? I posted my picks for you guys to get them out there and try to help you. Spent ample time on on, on, on private, whatever whatever uh, form of, uh, of, of, of uh, you know, whatever form of Internet it was, what social media it was, whether it was the Discord or whether it was Patreon at the beginning, we were on there in the comment sections, and we brought it to, we brought it to, uh, we brought it to the Discord with JDE because everybody wanted to do that, and and it was a great idea. And JD set it up beautifully, and he's a great guy. And me and him have developed a small friendship, and it's getting stronger by the day. We got a lot of things that we're talking about, about uh, uh, enhancing the Discord for everybody, and. Um, you know, I got guys on Instagram. My work is there. I'm on Twitter now. I've been giving out free picks. My even that I didn't mention it the other day. I mentioned I was giving out free picks on Instagram too, like two free picks, and I was already making a run. I mean, two free picks a day. I was already 15 games over 500. I mean, right there alone, you 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 could win if you just played by free picks. I mean, uh. Baseball for last year in MLB, I was like 350 games over 500, bro. It was not 1,195 games played, and, and that's a body of work. That's not just, you know, picking a game here and a game there. That's 1,195 games, 61%. If you're playing over 60, 60% to 65%, you're winning money. I don't give a shit what anybody tells you. I know that as a professional gambler that that's winning money, and I'm winning money. So, you know, you, these guys can say whatever they want, man. There's nobody giving out more winners. If you break down my days, yeah, I have bad days. I have days where I'm, you know, 7 and 8 or I'm, or I'm, I'm 13 and, 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 and 13 or whatever the case may be. But you could tell by the record, which I'll give you on the next, I'll give you on the next video uh what my records were we're not talking 10 games over 500 we're talking hundreds of games over 500 in every category locks max uh we were playing nba we were playing nhl which was was only 25 games over 500 but football um you know football wasn't the easiest either the nfl i tell you about the bookies wanting you there but college basketball over 200 games over 500 you know, nobody knows these leagues, these conferences better than me. You saw the games I was playing and the teams that I was playing. The work was there. All you had to do was not take notes every day, like I said, but you had to get an idea of, 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 of a pattern, of, of a flow that I was playing. I'm going to cut this video short here and come right back, bro.